Hello, I'm Curtis William, and I'm here to talk about Nickelodeon's newest TV show, School of Rock. Now, if you didn't see it, it premiered Saturday after the Kids' Choice Awards, if you all watched that. So, I hope, like many of you all remember, the 2003 movie, School of Rock, with Jack Black in it. Yeah, so Nickelodeon then took advantage of that and decided to make a TV show out of it. And in my opinion, I I watched the first episode, I saw the characters, I saw like the previews, and I was just like, why did they do that to that movie? That movie was like, it was so great, it was awesome. And like Nickelodeon just decided to like make it into like some cheesy G-rated kid show, which it should not be. So, like, the week of, like, the Kids' Choice Awards, they were showing, like, trailers and, like, you know, just little 30-second snippets of, like, the show and all of that. And I wasn't paying attention as much because, like, it was called School of Rock. And I was like, oh, I don't think it probably have, like, you know, an influence on, like, the movie School of Rock. But I took the TV off mute and listened and, like, saw, like, the dude I was trying to impersonate Jack Black. And like saw the kids and like them trying to like rock out and them trying to have a secret band in school and stuff. So I was just like, oh my god, here they go, just fucking up stuff. So it's just that's gonna be a new that's a new Nick show now. So I took the time to watch it. So now I'm just gonna compare the first episode to the movie. So if you all have seen the movie, uh, Dewey Finn, who is uh, Jack Black uh, takes his friend's Ned Schneebly's uh, substitute job and says that he's Ned instead of Ned being Ned because the teacher wasn't there and Ned had to be like a permanent substitute for like a couple weeks. But Dewey picked up the phone and answered it and went down to the job and said he was uh, that he was Ned Schneebly. But in the TV show, well, in the movie, they don't they don't tell us, like, I don't think they tell us uh, what happened to, like, the uh, real teacher. They just call in Dewey and ask him to, like, come. But in this uh, TV show, the kid brings in a skateboard, and then the black woman who's the teacher uh, says that you can't have a skateboard in class. And then she says, oh, I've ridden skateboards before when I was younger. And, of course, she gets on it, and, of course, knowing Nickelodeon, she has to have an accident. So, she rolls the skateboard right into her desk, and then, like, she flips over, so she has an accident. So, that's when Jack Black, well, not Jack Black, that's when, like, the character that's supposed to be impersonating Jack Black in the TV show comes in, and he's the substitute teacher. And, like, he, he, if, like, they want him to, like, Jack Black, they could have made him, like, he had found somebody else, because he seemed like he's, like, 25. And, like, that character, like, he just seems too young to, like, play Jack Black at all. Like, if they had Jack Black actually running, like, the show and him being in the show, then that would have been better. And they tried to get, like, a look alike for, like, the principal and stuff, so I kind of appreciate that they did that, but they could have, like, not even did this at all. So, uh, the dude comes in the classroom, and then, uh, instead of his name being Mr. Schneebly, instead of him still in his friend's substitution job... His name is just Mr. Finn. And that, that kind of made me mad. And I was just like, you can't, it's like, if you're going to go by the show, I know you don't want, like, don't, just go by the movie. Like, don't just try to tw switch shit. Like, go by the movie. So that was one thing that made me mad. So then, like, uh, he came in and was trying to teach the class and whatever. I wasn't really paying attention because I really did not want to watch it. So, um, yeah, uh, the bell had rung and whatever. He thought it was time for the kids to go, but it was not. It was, uh their music time, which also in the movie, the kids went to music class, and uh, Dewey decided to, like, go see them in music class, and in the movie, Dewey saw him, and he got inspired, and in the TV show, he got inspired, too, so then, uh, Dewey, in the, in both the movie and in the uh, TV show, went to his car and grabbed a bunch of, like, like rock and roll stuff, because... Uh, Dewey was a rock star in the movie. He was in a rock band, but his friends Kicked him out the band and in this I don't know if he's in a band or not I just think he's just like a rocker or whatever because like toward like in the show he kind of like Was in like he was performing when he was at lunch and whatever so I really don't know so then he started teaching them stuff and whatever and all of that so like all of that happened and then, like, uh, the bell had rung again. He thought it was time for him to go, but it was uh, actually their lunchtime. So he snuck off and went to, like, one of his rock shows 
during their lunch. And like somehow the kids followed him and found him and found what he was doing or whatever. He tried to stage dive, but he fell right to the floor because no one tried to pick him up, just like they did in like the movie and whatever. So then like since those kids were gifted, they told him like, hey, if you're not like a real teacher, then like we don't want you teaching us. Like we need a real teacher because we need to pass and whatever. So yeah, Dewey leaves and just never comes back. But like, well, not never, but like he just left and like uh, left them a note and stuff. And, like, in the movie, I don't know, like, what Dewey's real job was. He was a rocker, but I think he was just, like, just living off his, uh, friend Ned. And, uh, after, like, uh, the parents found out about Dewey just being there and Sarah Silverman called the police on Jack Black, he just went in his house and went to sleep. But instead of that happening in, like, the TV show, I guess since it's G-rated, that'd be too much, Dewey just works at, like, a yogurt truck and whatever, wearing, like, a yogurt costume, jumping around trying to get customers to come and whatever. And... Finally, they the kids find him at the yogurt truck and try to get him back, and he comes back. And I really don't like that show. It's like, don't disrespect the movie like that. The movie was great, and like you disrespecting them making some shit like that is just like, it's it's just a no. Like you should not fucking you should not do that. Like that's, I didn't like it. Like if they made it like based on the movie and made it like a little edgier, then yeah, I'll probably like it. But like, watching that just made me mad. I didn't. Like the doll, like go by the movie. And what made me mad is that they're using some, they're using characters from like the first movie. Like Summer is in love with one of like, with one of the boys, one of the cool guys. I don't think, I don't think Summer was in love with one of the cool guys in the movie. She was just like full of herself in the movie. And like this, like should not be, this should not be a TV show. I don't like this. And like the kids are basically a kiss about band because like. On YouTube, they did a cover of Lips, by, Lip, Lips Are Moving by Megan Trainor. And I think they just, like, they just play rock music, but, like, they just, like, do covers of songs and stuff. So they're, like, kids bop. And I hate kids bop themed songs. Like, I just, that TV show should not be up. I don't like it. I really hope. Like, I know, like, the kids are going to like it and whatever. And I know, like, you know, it's, it's Nickelodeon. Like, it's not for adults or whatever. But, like, that just shouldn't be there. I don't, I don't like it. Like, you know, don't. That's just, like, them, like, doing a sequel to, like, a good movie. Like, if it was good enough, don't try to, like, extend it. And don't do that. The dude's Jack Black impersonation was kind of good. It was good enough. It wasn't, like, the greatest, but it was good enough. And, like, but just, you could have found better actors to play, you could have found better actors for the, to play Dewey Finn, the principal, and just, you know, all of that in general, but now it's, like, a Nickelodeon show. And I wanted to do, like, Jack Black approve of this, because I just, I really hope this TV show doesn't, like, get far. Because Peter Wynn's supposed to come on the next episode that comes on on Saturday, but, like, this movie is, I mean, this TV show is just, I wish it was never made. Like, I love that movie, and just to see them make that out of that movie was just, like, why? Could you have not messed up another movie? Like, could you have not messed up a movie that wasn't as good? Like, that movie was too good for you to be messing up. But, you know, that's what's happening now on Nickelodeon, that new show that's added on to the Saturday Night Playlist. So, yeah, they did it to the movie. If you want to, if you want to search it, all you gotta do is search "School of Rock Nickelodeon" and you will see it.